What's going on, boys? I want to welcome you back to Sketch Report. It's been a significant while <laughs> on this series. But um, today, kind of like last episode, I wanted to just talk about a an art project I did for a video, right? And obviously, this is the thumbnail for my Undertale video. And, um, you know, I, I guess I, I don't even want to talk about the art piece itself so much as just the video and just everything that went into it because it was a massive project by far the biggest thing I've ever done like by far <laughs> and um yeah but to talk about the piece a little bit right I um I, I didn't really know because I knew I wanted to have art as a thumbnail but I didn't really want I didn't really know what that art would be but um you know after I played through the whole game it was late at night when I had finished the last bit of recording, it was like 11, <laughs> and I was just thinking, you know, what am I going to do for the thumbnail? And this, this scene with the statue and the umbrella, it just seemed right to me. It just fit. And it is a pretty simple piece, and I directly referenced the source material. In fact, obviously it's still pixel art. It looks quite similar to the original, but um, I, I had my own color palette, as you can... You saw me select it in the speed paint. I, um, went for more purples, a lot of purple tones, tones on the grays. All of the grays for the statue have purple undertones, which I think is pretty. And then, um, I gave the statue a, a deep yellow umbrella, you know, for car wheel contrast and all that business. But, um, yeah, like I said, the piece is pretty simple. There's not a lot to talk about there. It just, it just felt right for, to me to pick that, um particular scene to draw but um i just wanted to talk a little bit about the undertale playthrough itself because <laughs> um and just the production of it because this is the only place i'm really gonna have a ch shot to talk about that and um you see the thing is one of the complications was that i wanted to have artfully just have my my playthrough video just start with um just start with the undertale intro but i was i was thinking that that would be kind of lame and also i it was just, this was some kind of born out of a technical problem because um I um I use <laughs> I use Xbox Game Bar to record stuff to screencast stuff because that's just it came on my computer it's convenient it's easy and um you can't like it was basically impossible for me to actually capture the whole opening cutscene and I could have just downloaded a video of it and put it on but I was thinking to myself I had this wild thought I was like what if I made my own opening cutscene. So just like that little technical blip led to one of the wildest creative decisions I've ever made of <laughs> remastering and refurbishing the entire cutscene to be for me and for my journey making the video. And um, I could have made a speed paint, a separate one, detailing the process of me making every single panel of it. But, you know, I, th I felt that it would be more appropriate to just let that be its own thing. In a way, if that makes any sense. But, um... But, yeah. Besides the fact that it would have been difficult to do all that. And I kind of just wanted to work on it with my own... Because, you know, be, speed painting and recording something is a little different. I wanted to just work on it on my own time. Not have to worry about that extra detail. But, um... But, yeah. I, uh... It was a lot of work. <laughs> I literally... I, um... I redid the entire like every pa every panel with the color palette i re i covered the song and everything i kind of want to talk about that a little bit i um the amount of stuff i learned like yeah i i grew as an as um as a pixel artist making the panels as an editor putting the things together but for me the biggest place i grew was the music part of it because um because yeah the music itself I um I've just recently learned how to use like direct direct connections between a digital keyboard and an audio software, you know, and um Studio One is my DAW that I use. It's um it was the kind of thing that I didn't know how to use at all until I started doing this project and I had was had was forced to learn how to do certain parts of it, you know? So I, I learned how to use that. I learned how to do this direct plug in stuff. I learned how to program drum MIDI, you know? All of this stuff, it just, I don't know, I've just been, I've been on a huge time crunch to get these end of year videos out, and just that pressure, and 
but but the planning involved in it i don't know i feel like i've done some cool things and the intro to that undertale video i'll have it unlisted it'll be in the description i'll have it uploaded separately but um that single minute and 40 seconds is a culmination of like every art form i've ever learned <laughs> you know it's like my pixel art my music all that stuff and um yeah i just i'm just really happy with how it turned out you know and um as far as the video itself goes <laughs> i cut it to be exactly 90 minutes because i'm a clever guy it kind of happened by luck but um but no uh yeah this this entire thing it really i mean it's been a big deal for me, you know, and it's the kind of project where I'm not making it for views, you know, because, like, as I was re editing it, I was like, oh, the Ruins gameplay is a little bit boring. My commentary isn't super exciting at the beginning, that kind of thing, and I was considering cutting it down to get to some of the more slightly interesting commentary a little bit later, but I thought to myself, I was like, no. No, there's no point in trying to, you know artificially make the video more entertaining because the video is not about the undertale video is not about being ultra entertaining you know it's about my real journey through the game that's what i want the experience to be so if i was feeling a little bit more introspective at a certain point or if there's or if there's you know a part of the game that i really want the viewer to just see that was kind of my thought process with it because um yeah it, it's not about the entertainment as much as the journey through the game you know so that that's that's the philosophy i use to make a lot of my editing decisions throughout the course of the video but um yeah yeah i uh i don't want to i don't want to talk too much <laughs> i think those are some of my biggest thoughts on everything but um yeah so this was just a project that really came out of passion for me i truly did this because i wanted to and the amount of work I put into the intro cutscene and everything was just, it was a lot, you know, but I did it out of love for the game. Truly, that video, the 90 minute playthrough, this, every little bit of art, every pixel, every note I put into this project was all just for love at, from, from the game. Because it means that much to me, you know, so... Yeah, hopefully that resonates with people, but at the end of the day, what it means to me is what really matters. So, yeah, hope you guys have been having a good new year, and uh, see you around.